Hi everyone, I'm going to show you today how to make a railway delivery system for an automated farm where you want to transport the items from the farm to a storage area. It's pretty simple, so let me take you through it right now. I'm going to flash up on screen now a list of all of the items you're going to need to build this in your world. Obviously the amount of railway lines you're going to need are going to be entirely up to you depending on the distance between the two sides. And there's going to be multiple ways to do the signal strength with the composter. Um, I'm going to use the composter here, but I'll show you a couple of other examples that might work better for you as well. So what we have over here is the contraption we're going to install at the farm itself. So let's imagine you have a farm going on over here. Let's say it's a cactus farm because I have prepared some cactus here. And the cactus farm does its thing and the output of the cactus farm comes into this hopper and lands in this chest. And what we want to do is say when a certain amount of cactus is accumulated, only then send this rail car on its way to a storage system or somewhere else in your world and deposit the wares over here. Pretty useful thing to do, especially because what you don't want to do in your world ideally is have minecarts just running continuously. That's that's the easy thing to do, but it gets annoying and if if you get unlucky, your mine cart can get loaded or unloaded into a chunk as you're moving around and it will sort of stop dead on the tracks. It also creates a lot of noise and lag. You want to avoid all of that if you can. And this system is the simplest way i found to make that uh, possible. So let me demo this in action. So our farm would bring all of its wares into here. They would go through these hoppers and end up in this cart like this. It would all siphon on through. Pretty quickly. So we'll accelerate this process, just dump stuff straight in here. And so the items would continue to accumulate until it got to such a point that uh, a critical mass is achieved and enough of the items are in the cart that we think now is a good time to send it on its way to deliver its wares. That item, that limit currently is set to a signal strength of 2 via this composter. Now composters are unique in that they give off a signal strength equal to the amount of stuff inside them. So let me demonstrate. You fill the composter just by going up to it with some organic matter, like I've got wheat in this scenario, and you right click it, put stuff in. It needs to make that sound. If it doesn't, it hasn't achieved anything. And you can see here we've gone from a signal strength of nothing to one. See that time it did nothing. And two, you've got a, I can't remember what the odds are, but there's a chance that it doesn't actually increase. So you either get lucky or you don't. So now it's a signal strength of two, which is the signal strength we've used over here. And the cart reaches a signal strength of two when there's about two stacks of stuff in there, it seems. And you can keep this up. Three, four, five, six, seven, goes up to a max of signal strength of 7. So in a case of our cart here, that would go up to a maximum of having it half full. If instead you want to wait until the cart is completely full, you can always just replace this uh, with a torch, then you've got a signal strength of 15. If you want something in between, you can always run a line of redstone out of here to a torch. So say I actually wanted a signal strength of 12, so that'll be 15, 14, 13, 12. So then the signal strength from the torch has dropped enough by the time it gets there, we've got that equal signal strength. So there's a couple of different ways you can do the signal strength. I have just found that the composter for me is uh, the most compact and convenient way to do this. So all this circuit is doing is saying uh, we've got a detector rail down here and this detector rail is reading the output from this chest. So there's nothing in there right now. We'll put in some cactus, that's taken it to a signal strength of 1 right now. When it's strong enough, when the signal strength from the composter, which is currently set to 2, equals signal strength of 2 coming from the minecart with the chest, then this comparator will output a signal which powers this block, which will unpower this torch, retracting the fence post, allowing the cart to go on its way. It's that simple. The signal strength of 2 is reached in this case when we get to 1 stack and 60. So that's 124 
items or items that can stack to 64. That seems like a pretty good level for me. It depends on the farm and how frequently you want the items delivered, wherever they're going to be. So it's entirely up to you how you define and set that. At the other end, super simple uh, mechanism here. We have the hoppers pulling stuff out. We have a powered rail on top of the hopper. We have a comparator here that is reading the output of the hopper. So as long as the hopper is giving off a signal, as long as there are items flowing through it, it's powering this block, which is unpowering this torch, which in turn gets, it's unpowering this rail. So as soon as that's empty, as we just saw there, it stops giving off a signal. So it allows this torch to turn on, powering this block, powering this repeater, powering this block, and in turn the rail, which sends the item back on its way. So let me quickly walk you through how to build this. So we'll start with our detector rail. We're then going to put in a powered rail. We're going to put in a block behind that. And you're going to want to put a powered rail on top of that so that it slopes up. Once it's done that, you can then remove this and put another block right here. Then we're going to want to take a signal adder here with the comparator. That goes into a repeater, that goes into a block, we put a torch on top of there, and then we get our sticky piston and aim it at the torch so it's aligned like so. It'll instantly turn on, and then put your fence on front of that, just like that. Now the input into the system here, we would use the hopper and set these up however you want, so you can sort of aim at the, the rail and it'll just land on top. And these will come from your farm, wherever that is. The output from your farm going into here. Now we need to do the timer part. Oh, this rail needs to be powered as well. So do that however you want. You can just uh, stick a torch on the ground here. I like to hide them so we can power this block like so and do it underneath. Then we need another comparator going into the side of this one. And that's where we would put our composter to take the reading and put a signal strength of two in here. One, two. That's pretty much it. Then it's just a case of connecting up your railway line however you want. We need to make sure that's powered so that the rail cart can travel along it, like so. And that's this side completely done. Then at the other end, we'll just have our rail going into the collection system. So again, you can do this at any height you want. I'm just gonna do it a little elevated here to show how it would work. So we need a, a bit of a platform. Uh, we're going to have uh, hoppers coming out of here. And then those go into wherever you want. So they'll go into a storage system, into something else. You can even line up a load of these railways here and have like um, have a little railway station coming in. So the rail you're going to want to put up here is going to want to be powered. Then we're going to want a block up here, a stop block, to make sure the rail cart stops. And this is one that will get powered. We take away this block here, and that's where we put our comparator, so it's coming out of the hopper. That comparator goes into the block, which goes into a torch. And that torch goes into a block. And then in between, we have a repeater, like so. So that rail is currently powered because there's nothing in that hopper. As soon as there is, the comparator will turn off the torch, unpowering the rail, and send it back on its way. Like I say, this is tileable, so you could just add another one here and another one here, and have like a little railway station in your storage system, and then send the contents from all of those off into a central place. Entirely up to you. You just gotta connect these rails however you want. The distance between these can be as much as you want as well. And that's it. So let's just give this guy a test. He gets stopped immediately. We'll get some more cactus. All of this will end up in here. Off he goes. Unloads at the other end. Everything's going to start accumulating here. For now, I can just stick a chest on the end. And the cactus will start ending up in there. That's it. That's my solution to getting items from your farm to your item storage system without having a train running continuously. A more efficient and uh, less laggy way of making sure that you get the items where you need to be 
and there isn't a train line running all of the time, only exactly when you need it. Cool, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see some of these item delivery systems in a real world, please go check out my Let's Play series. I use these in every single one of my farms and I have made a lot of farms. Please go check that out. Please also drop in the comments below any examples that you guys have made in your own worlds. I would love to see it in action. Thanks so much for watching. Take care for now. Bye-bye.